Are you still waiting for Diablo 4 release and looking for a game to fill that gap so that you wouldn't be feeling so empty all of a sudden? I can tell you my top two games that I'm playing and one of the games that I plan to play so that maybe those games gonna help you out. Maybe this is something similar that we can have some things, uh, some sort of common discussion about. Those two games that I constantly play when I have free time, when I'm not making videos and when I'm not working is uh, Diablo 2 Resurrected single player. I want to say that explicitly single player because ladder is giving us a lot of limits additionally i'm playing mordhau i believe i pronounced this name correctly first person medieval like game that allows me to play in single person mode and without any sort of hustle without any sort of brain function or calculative actions or, and planning so much i can just jump into the game and have fun as max as possible and the third game i'm gonna cover later on in, in the video so first things first, speaking about Diablo 2, I have not played really Diablo 2 Resurrected since the game was released and after the game was released I was playing the game so I could just finish Hell Difficult to later on play it through Hardcore and after all I just felt like the game is, uh, is okay but I only see improved graphics, so many minor changes that it just doesn't appeal to me no longer so I just forget about the game. But now, since Diablo 4 series started resurrecting itself, and um, I'm feeling vibes of Tristram back pumping inside my 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 body, um, I list I played through beta, I listened to Kyo Asad uh, theme song, I uploaded the song as well. I just magical feeling of feeling immersed back into Diablo Diablo 4 um, and uh, overall Diablo realm. It just just uh, feeling of. Uh, being back at the wonderland of joy and fun gaming experiences and the fact that you can no longer enjoy those experiences as you are being limit limited by blizzard and eh, well it kind of sucks but uh, i felt like uh, in order for me so i could ease the pain i read through the forums people are doing like playthroughs of uh, of diablo 1 diablo 2 and then diablo 3 uh, it so happened that I played Diablo 3 right before Diablo 4 was even a beta. I kind of scratched Diablo 3 itch. Later on I discovered that, hey, Diablo 2 is kind of a cool game. And it has a lot of cool mechanics. Previously I have played Diablo 2 in a ladder mode. And I have, in most of the occasions, paid people so they could just rush me through hell. So I could just farm Mephisto and get the gear that I wanted. But later on at some point I would just uh, drop the game. Last time I remember I played uh, Diablo 2 Resurrected, I was using a D2 JSP, uh, the trading platform, I traded a lot of stuff there, and it so happens that my account was removed there. I felt so, so like, tricked and, uh, and used, so that the fact that I, I traded items there, I supposed to get something in return, and I got the farm credits, but um, my account got removed, there's no way of recovering it, and uh, I got screwed. So thinking in a way like, if I would be playing on a ladder, I would be participating in a no trading whatsoever game, and if I would be playing in a single player, I could still apply ladder changes and ladder updates to my characters without being limited in uh, no trading or thinking like, in order for me so I could get something, I need to do some sort of mundane activity like farming gems or farming some sort of rush so I could help people in exchange for some random drops. Playing single player just gives me another window of opportunities. I can do what kind of thing I feel like doing. I can set my player difficulty from 1 to 8. I can do a lot of stuff. If I get bored of one class, I just create a new one. Uh, there's no limits, there's no server lags. If I want to go to make some coffee, make some tea, make some uh, some lunch, or just pause the game for, I don't know, six hours, I press escape, the game is paused, no problem, no questions asked, basically. So it's extremely ease of gameplay. Uh, soundtrack is amazing. Music is astonishingly beautiful. It's really easy to immerse and the fact that the game is not giving you any sort of guides or instruction how to play the game. I personally felt like even after so many years of playing Diablo 2, I still have a lot of things to learn. I honestly never played Bar Barbarian to the highest levels or um, Amazon to the highest levels. I only did like cows. So I have things, my personal achievements that I plan to achieve throughout upcoming month if I <laughs> have time to. And yeah, 
I, I play Diablo 2 Resurrected. I, I wanted to ask you to subscribe to this channel, as uh, I haven't at the start, so... Uh, I'm Sebrekas, thank you guys for following, thank you for watching, and let's move on. The second game, I saw that it was available and free uh, up until April 20th on Epic Games Store, was more than how. It's the first person medieval slasher. It's basically just uh, grab a sword, grab a weapon, or have a custom setup of equipment, and just go there into the battle. The game itself is so simple and so complex at the very same time, that it's just a blessing for me to be discovering such a gem. Now it's around, I believe it's uh, $30 if you want to play this game. There's so much player base and so much uh, different levels of people and different skill sets that it's really interesting to be immersed into the game and really easy to get lost into the game. I remember like first days after I have discovered this game, uh, I really lost track of time. It was really beautiful experience. I, I remember I had this experience when I started playing Diablo 4 beta for the first time and I lost track of time. I had the very same experience playing this game. Now, it's not the same thing, but I'm experimenting and it really looks like a perfect game to blow off steam and if you're angry about something, it's the game that have you covered from beautiful graphics to, I don't know, amazing experiences and uh, <laughs> overall, you should try out this game. The last game is uh, High on Life. It's the game that was developed by a studio that helped making a Rick and Morty game. I have not seen this game myself, I have not played the game. I have only saw that there's like a talking gun and the fact that this game was created partially or by the studio that created Rick and Morty. So that was full enough so I could uh, just purchase the game. I have not seen in any sort of trailers of the game, I have not seen any sort of gameplay. I heard well glimpse that the game is funny. Well, I'm a fan of Rick and Morty, so um, I have the game. I plan to play this game as well. Yeah, so these are basically my fillers. If you're planning on purchasing games, previously I have heavily tried advertising the fact that I have like affiliate links of GTA and uh, GOG.com so that you could purchase games. So I'm not highly pushing those links again, but I'm saying that if you wish to download games, I'm going to be placing two links down in the description down below so you could find those games and find other games. Um, it's still, there's a month up until the game is released. If you're planning on playing something, uh, continue on playing the same games that you have. I do not recommend purchasing anything, but uh, if you are running out of ideas, if you want to play something new, check out those websites. Just buy something on um, like discounts or less than a dollar and you're gonna be good. It's only a month. Stay strong. That's it for me. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.